Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode and if this is your first time here my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every Monday and Thursday teaching you to learn to love yourself flaws and all, trust your intuition and to manifest your heart's true desires. Now today we're going to be focusing on the first part, self-love. This is kind of infused in all of my videos but today I really wanted to take the time to talk to you about mirror work. Why? Because in Monday's episode of Weekly Angel Guidance, we received this card, which is the Four of Cups. This is trying to find the balance for the beauty that is deep within to be reflected in your physical world. A way that you can do that and a way that's going to help release resistance because this week in Weekly Angel Guidance, we got two cards that we really need to work at um, not allowing the darkness to come in. And I really wanted to talk to you about mirror work because I find this can be very confronting, it can also be very healing, and it can be very therapeutic. So I actually learned mirror work from watching Louise L. Hayes videos, and I just found it, it was really amazing, and it's kind of like sitting down having a conversation with yourself, which we don't do. You know, we chat to people online all the time, but when do you rarely look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know, Mel, I've flip and love you. Like, I love you because blah, blah, blah. Um, or I love this about you. So today I'm going to teach you three things. What do you love, forgive, and commit? They're three different things. I do this in rounds of seven because of the seven different chakras. It's just a number that feels good for me. Depending on where you are on your self-love makeover, you may be only willing to say one thing for each of the three. So I'll just pop them on the screen right now. Love, forgive, and commit. So each day, I want you to incorporate this or try or be willing to incorporate this as a part of your self-love practices routine. So grab your phone, put on selfie mode or grab a mirror, whatever feels truly best for you. And I really want you to sit down and have a conversation with yourself. And you know, at first, when you look at yourself, this can be very, very confronting. But over time, you will notice that it's going to be easier and the words are going to start flowing. And maybe you are not even going to stop at seven. You're just going to flow until there's nothing else left for you to say. I kind of call it like a rampage of appreciation for yourself. You know, you could say, Mel, I love that you are helping people around the world. I love that you are creating videos consistently for your channel. I love your eyes. I love your beautiful blue eyes. I love your beautiful lashes. I love that you love being creative with a bandana that's full of skulls. I love that you take time to paint your nails and that's a self-love practice. I love that you love tarot and the moon and I love that you are learning to strengthen your body by going to yoga and I love that you meditate and I love the latest meditation that you created reset that's going to be just available for your clients and I love that you really really appreciated this beautiful amethyst crystal you know I don't know obviously this is what I'm just thinking of right now I'm actually not looking at myself because this could be totally different when I look at myself but I'm just giving you an example so today I really want you to take the time to Really think about what do you love yourself for? What do you forgive yourself for? We've done a lot of forgiveness in the full moon, which was supercharged um, during that time of the moon. You can forgive at any time, but it is most powerful to do at a full moon. So maybe this is going to be a part of your ritual for the full moon. And what do you commit to doing to, self, to yourself today that your future self is going to thank you for? <clears throat> it's just whatever feels truly best for you. So I really hope that this helps you along your self-love journey and I really hope this has given you the inspiration and maybe this, the little nudge or that step forward for you to like finding that balance of what that beauty is within to see it for yourself because you know if only you, you saw yourself the way that the universe or God or whoever sees you or even maybe your partner if only you saw yourself like that or maybe you do. Maybe you have been practicing self-love for a long time and that's truly beautiful. So, are you ready for my little test? If you feel willing and confident and you're at the stage where you want to step out of your comfort zone, because all it takes is 20 seconds of courage, I want you to do one thing for me. I want you to write down one thing, minimum, 
What do you love about yourself? Type it in the comments section below and then I want you to write at the end of it, where are you in the world? So it says, I love that I have reconnected my body, my mind and soul. Mel from Australia. Like, can you write that in the comment section for me below? So as I'm going through and I'm reading all your comments and responding to you, it's just a comment section feel of pure positive energy because maybe these comments are going to inspire one of you who maybe is on the fence or maybe you're like, I'm not sure I'm ready yet. You know, maybe this could inspire somebody else in the world to, you know, just try. And I really hope it helps you on your journey. I truly hope that it helps you with this week. As you know, this week in Weekly Angel Guidance, we're focusing on the receiving phase of the moon and the breathing phase. And it's just finding that balance this week, finding that balance to reconnect your body, your mind, and your soul. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the MK Love fam, make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you never miss another episode because YouTube aren't going to let you know once I've uploaded. And if you have subscribed, make sure you hit that bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video because that would be amazing. And as always, I'm sending you so much love and healing and I really hope that you give this a go. If you do... Can you, um, yeah, just message me on Instagram so I can like feature you on my story. That would be amazing. Anyways, have an amazing week and I'll see you on Monday with another weekly angel guidance. I love you, love you, love you.